Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson. It's going to be all about describing a sequence of transformation where um, you're given two figures and you're trying to figure out what happened from image to pre-image or pre-image to image of um, different transformation that took place. So in this question, we were given the red figure and the blue figure and that we were told that these two are similar. And I note, I um, noted that these two are similar by using the sim symbol for similarity. Then the question asks, describe a sequence of transformation in which the blue figure is the image of the red figure. So blue is not the original, the red is. So what happened from red to blue? So the f very first thing that I'm, I no I'm noticing is that they are uh, different sizes. They look similar shape they look like the same shape but the sizes are different the red is bigger and than the blue so which means something took place and it reduced the size from red to blue and we just learned that lesson of dilation so from red to blue i am going to suspect that the transformation that took place is dilation and it's going to be a reduction so my scale factor will be less than one greater than zero, but less than one, a fractional value. So I'm going to keep that in my mind. Then the second thing that I notice is that they are opposite from this x-axis right here. So they are basic, this is the red image is a uh, red pre-image is flipped over to make to meet the blue. So that those are the two things that I'm going to kind of um, test basically to tell the sequence of the transformation. So let's shrink this red figure so that it becomes the size of the blue. Let's try that first. So how do I go about doing that is I'm just guessing that it might be a half, it might be a third. So I'm just going to see a point, corresponding points, and then uh, describe um, if they have any type of relationship with one another. So I'm going to look at these two points first before I make any decisions. So this point right here is four, negative, I mean, sorry, positive four, negative two. And then that point right here is four, negative four. And the corresponding two points here are two, one, and then two, two. So I do see that the relationship between those two corresponding points are it is a half. So I'm seeing that reduction in the scale factor of a half. But I'm going to make sure that I am doing that right. And one thing that you need to also note is that the negative signs uh, will not matter right now just because remember what I said about the reflection that took place. So we're going to ignore the negative signs for now. So here I wrote all the coordinates of my pre-image, my original figure, and then I wrote down that it is a dilation scale factor of a half. I'm gonna show you what that looks like by multiplying by a half. So I'm not gonna write all of it, but you're basically multiplying all these numbers of the coordinates uh, by a half or dividing by a two. So wouldn't this point become Half of four is two, and then negative two, half of negative two is negative one, so two, negative one, right here. And then two, negative two, two, negative two, and then six, negative six becomes half of these two. So multiply one half, multiply one half, it becomes three negative, negative three, so three comma one, two, three, almost there. Half of this and half of that is four, negative one, so there is my reduced shape from the original. Now it's much closer to this blue. So from red, going from red to blue, we're trying to guess what happened by looking at the facts. Then I know that it's a reflection over the x-axis. So I'm gonna write reflection over the x-axis because I'm going off of this line. So if I were to take a paper and trace this and then fold it horizontally by the x-axis, um, then they, these two will meet. So if you were to test a point, x-axis means that your coordinate x-y becomes um, x negative y, so y gets negated, meaning if I took this point right here, which is 
4, negative 1. This point is 4, positive 1. So 1 and negative 1 are opposites.